study, the Qatar uh, matching grant has been further slashed to one million uh, only this year, and the last year it was you know very much slashed. So uh, are uh, women are actually crying for the program that. Uh, uh, I've already said this before, and I think Tun has also Tun has also made it very clear. Public funds should be separate from politics. I think your paper is owned by a political party, and that gives rise to many questions of political control over the media, which I'm sure you, as a very passionate and very professional journalist, also find this uncomfortable. I'm talking on in terms of a, 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 a advocate of press freedom. You know this is wrong. How can political parties? control newspapers like the Star or whether it's like Utusan or other papers. This is wrong. So similarly, when you talk about educational institutions, if political control of media companies is wrong, political control of institutions also is wrong. But we are not going to stop you from running your education institutions. But how can public funds be used to support a politically controlled organization? And this is made very clear by the Prime Minister also. And he agrees that uh, uh, we should keep politics and education separate. Now, can I finish first? Oh, right. uh, then, uh, I have said before that if MCA relinquishes its control over uh, KETA, the government will immediately reinstate the funding, which is 30 million this year and 30 million next year. But the problem is that they do not want to relinquish their political control. And you know what happened on Kojadi? Again, Kojadi was funded by the previous government. And they were involved in 1MDB. I think you are very familiar with 1MDB. They are involved with 1MDB. And that's why we have instead channeled it to BSN. No longer to Kojadi. If we can channel these funds to VSN and not, not to Kojari, why should we be channeling funds to a politically controlled institution? MCA, please relinquish control of KETA. The funds will be restored. Not just for next year, but also for this year. So the whole fundamental question is not resolved. There should be separation between politics and education politics and public funding. Do you agree with me that public funding should not be used to finance political control institutions? Do you agree with me or not? Because this is wrong. Media control doesn't is, is not compatible with press freedom. So similarly, what is good for the goose is also good for the gender. Similarly, in terms of public funding, it is even more critical that political parties should not receive Funding, public funding. I mean, if that is the case, then we all will be uh, using public funds for our own political benefit. That is wrong. So you must draw the line. And in, if in the process, in, in order to make this very clear, they try to make themselves as a victim when they are actually the culprits. Relinquish control of KETA. The funding will be restored immediately. What is so difficult about that? AMNO doesn't have any institution, they don't complain. MIC, they don't have this type of institution, they don't complain. But the only one is MCA and they're complaining, as if they are the victim. Relinquish control, then the students will not be will not lose out. But why is it so difficult for you to relinquish control? They are only, I think, how much? How many people? Ten. Why should ten uh, trustees be more important than the thousand of students? Just relinquish control, let go. Your time is up, your time is over. Let go. Let it be run, not by the government, not by any political party, but by the former students of, of, of Utah. Professionals. Has a, an educational institution. If we cannot make this clear, if we cannot stand firm of this principle, then what is the point of being a new government that wants to carry out reforms? 